yourself. Hey, Dirty Weather 916, formerly known as Dirty Weather 916, coming to you with an interview. Not from me. I am being interviewed by none other than Drina's Haven 916, formerly known as Drina's Haven 916. Straight up. I have this perception in my mind of when you refer to the whole. Uh -huh. And I have a picture in my mind based on what I've seen in the movies yeah. and on TV. Describe the whole. First off, the whole is, it's got different names across the state. Like down south, they might call it the box. Out here, we call it the whole. But really, it's all solitary confinement, though. Uh, solitary confinement. Yes. That is the politically, politically correct name for the whole, the, the whole. box. It's solitary confinement. Solitary confinement. What is the purpose of solitary confinement? It's like a, basically, it's like a timeout. I'm sorry. Let me pause you for a second. Describe solitary confinement or the whole. Um, what it looks like. You do not. First of all, in the hole, when you first step in the hole, you don't have anything. You don't have anything but a bed. You have a bedroll, some laundry, and if you're lucky, you might have grabbed a book on the way to your cell or told the CEO to grab you a book. If not, the only book you're getting is the Bible. You ain't going to have no food. You're not going to have anything. So when you get in the cell, get in your book, all, all it is is a book. And the sink and the toilet. That's it. There's nothing in there, nothing else in there. You don't have any property or anything. So over time, after you after you've been in the hole and been in this, first you get first after ten days you get to go to the yard. That's what changes. But after you've been in the hole for like two weeks, then you get property. You, but you have to have movement first. So let's go back. Nothing in the cell. Ten days later, you go to committee, hopefully, go to the yard. Shortly after that, you get your property. And your property consists of stripped down stuff that you have from the main line. So for security purposes, like you can't have a a sharp pin, like a scripto pin. The pins that I have, you can't have those. But on the line, you can have a pin. You can't have a certain you can't have over a certain amount of food. You can't have over a certain amount of cosmetics. You can't have any of your personal clothes except for like if you got boxers that are personal boxers, you can probably get them. Uh, your t-shirts, if you got personal t-shirts, you can probably get them. And then you might be able to get some food out of your um, property, but for the most part, you become a regular person. Like in the whole, you could only spend like $35 versus on the main line, you could spend like $180. And then that's where a lot of people do most of their reading is in the hole because there's really nothing going on in the hole. You sparked two questions. Community, what is community? Community. Community is the, community is a collective, uh, wait. You said or maybe you said committee. Committee. What yeah. is committee? Committee is is every every like once you go to the hole, you have to go to committee, which is UCC or ICC, and you have and that is that that's a collective of the warden or the associate warden. Uh, if you have any psych concerns, there'll be a psychologist, a psychiatrist there, uh, the sergeant. Okay. Uh, and, and probably the CEO that escorted you in there in cuffs because if you go to committee in the hole, a lot of times you probably in cuffs. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Is going to the hole a planned event or is it spontaneous? And the reason I'm asking that is because you, you, you made a comment that you, you might be able to say, grab this for me or grab that for me. Is, yeah. So is it a planned event or is it spontaneous? If you're lucky, it's a planned event. If you're lucky, because the difference is the difference in knowing that you're going to the hole 
then you're going to take certain precautions like me. If I know I'm going to the hole, I'm going to go get tobacco. I'm going to stuff. I'm going to keister or put it in my bung hole. I'm going to make sure I have a lighter with me because you don't get all these things in the hole when you get back there. So also then I'll know to make whatever phone calls to whatever people and let them know I ain't got no money on my books. Send me some money because you're not going to be using the phone in the hole of any sort. Why do people go to the hole? Because um, they get in trouble. They get caught slipping. They do something to somebody for for protection. Uh, there's so many different reasons to go to the hole. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's endless. So, but what is the purpose of it? The purpose is to separate you from the population oh, because okay. for whatever reason, you're failing to program. Gotcha. Okay. When you went to the hole... First of all, how many times have you been to the hole in your 17-year uh, stretch? Ooh. Let's see. We'll just take Salinas Valley. Salinas Valley State Prison, I went to the hole one... One, two, three, four, five. I went to the hole five times in Salina Valley. In Solano, I went to the hole one, two, three, four, five times in Solano. Old Folsom? Whew, I went to the hole one time. I went to the hole one time. Three to meet Chief. Me and Chief with Sellies, I went to the hole like three times from that cell alone. Um, but the longest stretch that I did was that year, and that was where I bounced around to various different holes, like from three different prisons. Wow, wow. All fighting a charge that I was innocent of. The first time you went to the hole, I don't want to say did it meet your expectations, <laughs> Rather, was it, was your experience in the whole what you expected it to be? And, and this is a compound question, how did you spend your time in the whole? Um, the first time I went to the whole was for attempted murder. And I kind of didn't know what to expect. Just like when I was 17 or 18 on uh, level four, the most violent level four in California at that time, I had no idea what to expect. I just knew I had to survive. So in the hole, I didn't know what was expected. I didn't even plan on going back there for attempted murder. I thought it was just going to be for assault because I was doing so many things on this yard and getting away. I kind of felt like I was untouchable or invincible. Then when they sent me to the hole for attempted murder, I kind of was thinking about my family a lot more. I will mm -hmm. say that. Mm -hmm. That was if I cried. That was my first time crying in prison because I I thought I was over. I thought just not even two years into doing 18 years, I'm already faced with an attempted murder charge where I know I didn't do it. Like we were accused of stabbing somebody that that the victim had the knife. We didn't have the knife, he did. So now I'm up against it and I don't know how to fight. I don't know about Title 15, which is like a like a book, a penal code book that allows us to reference law and, thing, and case law to help us fight up out of that situation. I didn't know none of that. I still have my immediate appeal going on. So now it's a fight in prison and fight legal I didn't, I didn't know what to do so I had to just hope for the best was that a planned event or was it spontaneous that time that first time <laughs> uh, I got excuse me for my allergies that time of the year that's okay I have clinics for you okay that show did it excuse me I just didn't think <laughs> I appreciate it your insight. Oh, that's all good. It is all good. So anyhow, was it a planned event? No. Like, it was not planned for me to go to the hole. Well, it was not planned for me to go to the hole initially, but I had time because they kept me on the yard, but on ad sex status. Okay. 
waiting transfer to the hole. So what led me there, nah, I was not even supposed to be involved because at that time I was able to, for lack of a better word, dispatch or send homies to put in work. And that's what happened. Earlier in the morning when we tried to get the guy, he didn't want to do his discipline. He had to do discipline and he refused to do it. So in prison, especially on level four yard, if you've been administered discipline and you don't do it, the next thing is getting physically disciplined. You mentioned ad seg. What is the difference between solitary confinement and administrative segregation. Same thing. It is the 